take a look at complex numbers on a T85 calculator. And let's first look at simplifying square root of 49. So I'm going to do my, my square root. So I do second and then the x squared. I'll put a beginning parentheses, negative 49, closing parentheses. You don't actually need to put parentheses around those, but it's always good practice to put those just as, as you'll probably become more complex than it handles it all the time. And then press enter. Now you may get this or you may get some other kind of display. This is a complex number form. It puts a real part first, comma, and then the imaginary part, and then parentheses around it. So how you'd read this, this is 0 plus 7i or just 7i. Now depending upon what your mode settings are, you may look different. So if I go into second, more, it'll go into mode. And you should have all these first options set. If you don't, then put your flashing cursor on whichever one, press enter to select it. For example, if you had polar, chose down here. Then I pressed enter. Then if I do an exit, and now if I do a square root of negative 49, you see we don't get the same uh, format. This gives us R, and then uh, this is our, our theta. So, um, again, to go into mode, you do second more. You highlight whichever one's uh, set incorrectly, and then press enter. And then you do your exit. And now if you do your square root, negative 49. You notice I didn't put parentheses around that, that second time I did it. You don't actually need them on the simpler problems. You get 0, 7. Okay, let's look at adding. Uh, two complex numbers. Pretty much you type in as you see it, remembering the special f way you had to write complex numbers on a T85. So do a beginning parentheses, our real part, 1, comma, our imaginary part, 5, closing parentheses. You don't ever put the I. Plus, beginning parentheses, 8, comma, negative 2, closing parentheses. And then press enter. Now, how you interpret this, this says 9 plus 3i, and that's our answer. Now, for our subtraction, again, you type it in for much as you see it. So, I do beginning parentheses, 3, comma, 2, closing parentheses, minus, beginning parentheses, my real part, 4, comma, and then my measure part, negative 7. Closing parentheses, and then press enter. And how you interpret that is that's negative 1 plus 9i. Now multiplication. I'm going to do a beginning parentheses, my real part, 11, comma, my imaginary. Well, there's an invisible 1 before this i, so that's negative 1. Closing parentheses, and then beginning parentheses, 2, comma, 3, closing parentheses. Now, I'm assuming that's the same here on T86. If you put two complex numbers together like that, it goes ahead and multiplies them. And let's see if that's true here. Yes, it does. Uh, so our answer is 25 plus 31i. Now, division. Typically with division, you... Um, We will, if you have more than a single number, single variable, single anything on top and bottom of your fraction, you have to put parentheses around it, which is handled automatically with a complex number form on these calculators because they by default have parentheses around them. So I'm going to do a beginning parentheses, 3, comma, 2, closing parentheses, divided by beginning parentheses, 5, comma, negative 1, closing parentheses, and then press enter. Now we'll get decimals, 0.5 and 0.5, and I always have to look for this, uh, where this is located at. Um, so I need the math, I know that, so I do second, then my multiplication to get to the math menu. I already tried num on a T86, it wasn't there, it was under miscellaneous. You push the button straight below it. So I want to choose miscellaneous, so I push the F5. Now it isn't right here, but I see there's an arrow which indicates more, so I push the more button. And frac is what I'm looking for. Now once I find frac, I just push the button straight below it, which is F1, and then push enter. And that'll change that 0.5 and 0.5 to fraction form. So our answer is 1 half plus 1 half i. 
to get rid of these menus, I just press your exit one time to get rid of the first menu, one more time to get rid of the second. Okay, I to the fourth. I'm going to do, um, you have to think what this represents. Uh, we got beginning parentheses, our real part is zero, comma, our imaginary part is one. Closing parentheses. Because um, there's a one in front of the I here. Now we want the fourth power, so I'll do caret four, and then press enter. Now again, this is our real part and our imaginary part, so this says one plus zero I, or just one. Okay, I to the 401st power. Well, I do a beginning parentheses, zero, comma, one, and then 401st power, so I do caret 401 and press enter. Now we get a little bit of bizarre result here. Let's talk about this. Interestingly enough, they fixed this on the, on the, the T86. We got 4.9 e to the negative 12, comma, 1. Well, this would not equal 4.9 e to the negative 12 plus 1i because this is our real part and this is our imaginary part that's that's not a anything there so this is a 1 well e to the negative 12 this means 4.9 times 10 to the negative 12 plus 1i or just i and 10 to the negative 12 this is scientific notation that means we move our decimal place 12 places to the left so we've got point one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven four nine plus i, which this right here rounds to zero. So we've got zero plus i, or i is our answer. Important part when you're using the calculator, you'll come up some uh, approximation uh, errors here. Is um, when it does this, it does it numerically. The 4.9e, whenever you have part of it has an e in there, when you're talking about complex numbers, that always goes to zero. So you can ignore that part. Unless you're dealing with very small numbers, very large numbers, you, you'll never end up with that. So this would have been 0, 1 um, if I interpret this as a zero. But that's how you do complex numbers on a T85 calculator.